personally, I think uh, I feel fulfilled and I'm sure every member of our team also feel the same because it has been so many years of sleepless nights, it has been so many years of hard work and to see this day and the induction of this aircraft, you know, you, there's a sense of belonging you have when you see something you design and build flying. Before now, people think that aircraft is rocket science, it cannot be done in Nigeria. But we have proven today that such things can be done in Nigeria, it can operate in Nigeria by Nigerians. And we are proud to be part of that team that made this happen. The challenges is that, uh, or, or, are that initially uh, when we started, we started as early as 2008. And uh, then uh, we did not have any department that was running aeronautical engineering or aerospace engineering. So that was how the Nigerian Air Force collaborated with Cranfield University in the UK for the uh, training of uh, the first set of 12 engineers in uh, aerospace vehicle design. So we started at Benicio uh, from uh, mechanical engineering and electric, electrical electronics uh, background to aerospace uh, design. So these are some of the initial uh, challenges uh, to the process. Since I assumed the leadership of the Air Force, this position is captured in my vision statement, which is the position to reposition the Nigerian Air Force into a highly professional and disciplined force through capacity building initiatives for effective, efficient, and timely employment of air power in response to Nigeria's national security imperatives. I therefore consider research and development as a fundamental enabler of capacity building, hence strategic partnership with NPS for enhanced research and development futures as one of the key drivers of my vision. In implementing this key driver, the Nigerian Air Force has entered into a MOU with 16 Nigerian universities and a foreign university that is Cranfield University in the United Kingdom and is currently conducting research and development with five of these universities in Nigeria and addressing some of our aircraft maintenance challenges. There is no need for us to spend our money, convert into US dollars to import these drugs now that they are being manufactured here in Nigeria in Jenica. So Chief of Air, the Air Staff, I want to promise you, will be the first to place orders as soon as production starts. The significance of this accomplishment is a milestone of nation that technological development cannot be overestimated. In this regard, I must commend the efforts of the current leadership of the Nigerian Air Force, notably the Chief of Air Staff, who is performing his assignments wonderfully well. Government remains determined, despite numerous challenges bring about the much needed change that will lift our global nation to its right place as a major economic and political force on the world stage. Part of our drive to achieve this goal is to enable enterprise and the improvement of quality of life through massive improvement of national infrastructure. 